Hey, thanks for the click. Stony Richards, wide awake. Why want to wait? You know Garth Brooks is coming to town, don't you? Wow. May 18th. They said, uh, why don't you come in and sit down and tell some stories about Garth Brooks? And there's so many stories I could tell about the guy. And I'm sure you can too. Because wherever he goes, he, he just makes you want to talk about him. I mean, that's, that's what he brings to the, to the whole table, right? A couple of things. He, remember when he retired? Uh, because they were going to raise, he and, and uh, Miss Trisha were going to raise the girls, right? And they did. And I, me included, a lot of people said, he ain't coming back. Well, he did. He said, as soon as the girls are old enough to get into college, coming back. And he did. Uh, so they had a big thing in Nashville at Garth's home. And um, we were invited to that. And it was, it was a really big deal. Um, there was a, a bit of a scandal, a bit of a payola. Remember Spitzer, the attorney general for the state of New York, had this whole thing with, with uh, people taking graft and payola and stuff. It wasn't really in the radio industry so much, but it kind of filtered down into radio. So people were not interested in going out to, to do and see artists um, uh, on a trip like that, that, you, that the label would pay for. Um, it was a business trip. But it was like a lot of a lot of the big corporations were like, mm, I ain't gonna do it. Well, enter Scott Borchetta at Big Machine. And uh, Scott calls me and says, Hey, Garth, why don't you come down to Nashville and see his new single? He's coming back and he's got a new single. You ought to come down here and see it. I said, Why? Well, listen, man, we were owned by CBS at the time. I said, They're not gonna let me come down here for that. You can't, I mean, we can't do that anymore. He said, No, you can. We checked with legal and everything's set in square. And I thought, if that isn't Scott Borchetta, the man who discovered Taylor Swift and Garth Brooks, both work in the house. They got it all, you know, fair and square, all right. I said, okay, let's go. So we went down to Nashville, Garth's house, and we, <laughs> they had it. He said, you know, we, we don't have room in the house for, for you. Uh, there was about, I don't know, maybe 60 people from radio. We're going to do it in the barn. Well, my friends... If you saw Garth Brooks' barn in Nashville, no offense, it's probably cleaner than your living room. I mean, it's a big, it was a big horse stall farm. And in each stall, there were no horses in there, but in each stall were various awards that Garth had won or various sets of his, uh, various pieces of his, of his stage set. It was incredible. And it was, it was just a big barn. And uh, up in, in the middle of the barn where you would just, you know, park your tractor or what have you, he had his whole stage, the big Garth Brooks stage, which was maybe 80 feet wide with the ramps on the side, ramps on the side and, and in the front. And in the back, there was the big G for Garth, you know, that logo. And I said, well, what, you keep your stage here? He said, well, yeah, we got to rehearse somewhere. I said, so you're in the barn. He said, well, yeah, nobody can hear us in here. So that's what, it was his whole stage. He came out and there were, you know, a bunch of radio people and uh, all wanted to shake his hand and say hi, which they did. And Garth came in and there were various tables that we were all sitting at. And he, he had planned to go from table, table to table saying, hey, how are you? Garth Brooks, good to see you. Well, it was just so stunning that here he is. I mean, it's Garth Brooks. and. Um, Everybody just stood up and got in line. We didn't stay at our tables. Everybody just kind of got in line and waited to meet Garth Brooks. Well, he, he took a position against somebody else's table, like I'm sitting here, and just kind, of, just kind of sat back, and he was kind of leaning like on a railing. He stood there for three, I'm not kidding. He stood there for three and a half hours, did not have a drink of water, did not have a drink at all. I've never seen Garth drink, by the way, alcohol. Um, he was standing there, talked to everybody and not like hey how you doing thanks for coming so good to see you let's take a picture move on next he had questions for everybody it was like hey stoney you're still there on y108 man that's really great i love that you know i was up in pittsburgh not too long ago you know my steelers and my pittsburgh pirates oh my gosh he's telling stories to me and i'm like going hey garth i know there's a lot of people here but thanks and he's no no listen i want to ask you a question yeah so we had this great conversation he had that conversation with everybody, people from Little Rock, people from Los Angeles, people from New York and West Virginia. He'd go, oh, man, I love that station you guys got. That's a real old building, isn't it? 
just like you were talking with your lifelong friend. And I mean, it was, it was pure Garth. Never once in three and a half hours stopped to wipe his brow, never had a drink of water, never went to the bathroom. We were all going, oh my God. <laughs> and it was just wonderful. 